the things I do for you guys. Hi everyone and welcome back for a brand new video. If you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button and if you are not new here make sure that you are subscribed in the red button below and hit the notification bell as well to make sure you get notified when my new videos every week go up. So today's video I wanted to do something I haven't did for a little while and you guys seem to really enjoy it. So this is kind of like a new in beauty slash blogger mail. So if you don't know, as a blogger I get sent a lot of new beauty products to try and I really love to test them out obviously but I love to share them with you guys and I think it's really good to kind of everyone can see what's new and what's coming out. So everything I'm going to show you is pretty much a new launch. There are a couple of things that are new to me but the majority are new launches and I have so 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 much to show you so this video is going to be like kind of quick fire and I may talk a little bit too fast but I've just got so so much that I want to show you so let's go straight right into it. I'm going to divide this video up into makeup, body and skincare and hair care because there is a lot in each category so I think that would be easiest. I'm going to start off with skincare and this is a couple of products I haven't tried yet and this is Bio Essence 24 Karat Bio Gold Gold Water. It comes in a really sparkly box like this. And this isn't, um, I don't think this is a new product, but this is new to the UK. I don't think it's ever been out in the UK before. I personally have never seen it. So this is a 24 Karat Bio Gold Water. It has real 24 Karat Gold Flex in it, which is a bit like the Glan Lua Primer. Um, and it looks really, really cool. So this basically, says it firms pores, uh, firm and supple, wrinkle defies, sebum balances, energizes and gives you a luminous radiance and I think I've had something here as well. Basically it says that 24 karat gold has been used since like ancient times, royalties as a skin renewal, enhancer, blah 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 blah. So I'm very very excited to try this. I really like that primer from Guerlain. So this is like very similar but more of an essence. Um, it comes in a glass bottle and it has a kind of dropper. It's actually quite hard to pour onto your skin um, because you can't sort of squeeze it but it feels nice. The gold flecks come out and it feels like a, like a water but more of an essence. It's like an essence water. It just feels really really lovely and it's meant to sort of firm your skin and tighten your pores. I have tried it once so far already and I really like the feel of it on the skin. Um, it's quite hydrating as well. So let me just show you the gold flecks in this. It's really cool. Look at those gold flecks. They are amazing. I love this. This is such a pretty product. I'm excited to try that out a little bit more. Um, as always, I will pop all the details to every product I mention in the description box and where you can get it as well. But I think this one is available in Superdrug. And then also from this range is the 24 karat Bio Essence Gold Miracle Finisher. So this I haven't tried yet, I've tried it on my hand, but this is kind of like a product that you use as your last step. So it says to seal in prior skincare, shield your skin from harmful free radicals, protect your skin and give a matte finish. So this is kind of your last step after you moisturise it. So it's kind of a little bit like a primer, but maybe more of a skincare kind of product there. It comes in a pump and when you put it on your hand, it comes out kind of cream as you can see and it actually has very 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 tiny gold flecks in that as well which is pretty cool. It feels really nice, dries in easily, it finishes super matte. You can tell this would give your face a really sort of nice smooth finish and I think that would actually be lovely as a primer. Next in skincare are these from Lost Tan and these are their overnight perfecting mask and their flash moisture mask. So these are the little mini masks. I think they're about like six pound each. I haven't tried these yet. Um, but I'm keeping them for my holidays because I my vacation because I think that these are just such cute little sizes that they'll just fit in my bag for the plane or just in general easy to take with you so it comes in a little packet like that. The overnight protecting mask is a non-oily light textured gel mask works while you sleep so dullness and dehydration which is perfect for me and the flash moisture mask is again sort of to quench thirsty skin and you can kind of put this on anytime and also 
you don't need to rinse it either, you just sort of leave it on and kind of wipe off any excess. So this one might be good for the plain, so I don't have to rinse anything off, and then maybe this one even for an overnight sort of plain as well. So I really love these, I can't wait to give them a try. Now this is something really interesting, and I haven't opened it yet. This is a space mask. It already sounds quite exciting, doesn't it? Um, this is an interstellar relaxation. It says, this little pouch contains a self-heating eye mask which will transport you to another dimension. Bit scared now if I put this on, I might not be here to finish the rest of the video. Relieving tiredness, eye strain and many other earthly tensions. The warmth comes alive as soon as you open it, so make sure you're fully reclined and ready for liftoff. So this is another great thing, maybe for the plane. Um, open the pouch, unfold your mask. So I think it kind of heats up. This reminds me a little bit, I think it is... Ultrax that do these um, and they're kind of like masks that heat up and kind of just relax them on your eyes so I wonder what this one is different from that it's got essence of jasmine and iron in it so do you know what let's open it up and let's try it, it looks like this kind of space mask as you can see it's got two of two little pocket bits in it and bits for your ears so let's put it on kind of like an eye mask let's see if it's heating up or not um, not yet. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Let's see. Oh, it's starting to heat up. I can feel it. So within a couple of minutes, you'll feel it heat up as the oxygen molecules in the atmosphere cuddle up to the mask's iron. Drift off and enjoy 15 minutes. So it doesn't have a smell. Like, I thought it might have had like a more of a lavendery, calm smell. It doesn't smell of anything. It's starting to heat up actually, so let's put that back on. Oh yeah, I can feel it now. Oh! Let's try this without my hair. But I look like a white wally now. Yeah, you can really feel that heating up. It's quite nice on the eyes. It feels nice. It does feel nice. I can feel that being so nice on the plane. It's getting hotter actually. Um, I love the design. I really like the the starriness and space mask is a little bit cooler. It's very, very similar to the Optrex mask that I have tried. I'm sure it's from Optrex. It's one of those kind of eye brands that you'd get in boots anyway. They have something very, very similar. But this is just a little bit cooler. The fact it's called space mask, it looks like this. You kind of want to be like, oh my god, I'm going to get my space mask out, I think. Just kind of brands it. Oh my god, that's getting really warm. Nice and hot. I like this idea. I'm kind of annoyed I've opened it now because now I can't use it again. But yeah, these are pretty cool. So yeah, spacemask.com. Check them out, guys. Okay, from space masks to hair masks. That was a good link, wasn't it? So this is a new range from L'Oreal Professional. This is their Syria Expert. I love the colour of this packaging. I think it's amazing. It's kind of like a coral orange, isn't it? It's called Siri Expert. This is B6 and Biotin Enforcer. And there is an anti-breakage shampoo, an anti-breakage conditioner. And then there is also um, a mask as well. So kind of like a leave-on mask for like five, 10 minutes and wash it off. I've tried this range. I really like it. And it kind of came at the right time because I felt like my hair was breaking a little bit. I don't know whether it's from the bleach or just at the front. So it was a really good thing to sort of test out. And I really like it. And one really cool thing about the shampoo, which I know quite a lot of you love, is I'm not going to put it on my hand, but it comes out pink and glittery. I'm not lying about this. It's pink and glittery and it's amazing. It's not like glitter that's going to be in your hair. It just glistens in your hand. So a really, really lovely range from L'Oreal Professional. This is a product that is not brand new. This is, I think it's been out a while, but it's brand new to me and I've just been trying it this week. This is Inolux's Elixir. And this is kind of like a leave-in conditioning product that you can use at home. So this is very, very similar to if you get your hair coloured at the salon, you may have experienced all the plaques before. And this is a treatment that you can get done at the salon to protect your hair from colouring all the time and basically just strengthens your hair against basically all the colouring that you get done. And Inolux also offer like an inside on treatment as well I think but this is their kind of at home version a bit like Olaplex has an at home version too and it's super easy to use and I love it like I've used it today and my hair is just feeling so nice like it feels really like it looks shiny it feels healthy like 
sometimes my hair can get quite dry from straightening it and it just feels really really healthy and it feels nice so yeah it's a little bit like a leave-in conditioner but you apply one to two drops on wet hair and then you dry your hair and I swear to you your hair will feel so so nice after this like I really really enjoy using this product I've used it twice now and I think my hair is starting to look a lot healthier and it just feels really, really good too. This is a new launch from Avida. This is a purifying scalp cleanser, and this is basically to cleanse your scalp. So shampoo is to cleanse your hair, this is to cleanse your scalp. So kind of rebalance your scalp, get rid of any oils, um, or if you've got dryness, kind of rebalance it for that. And it comes in a really like easy applicator, so you can just, I don't know if this is open or not, so I'm not gonna put it in my head, but you can just put it in lines, down the kind of hairline, and what do you do? I can't remember. Yeah, you just put it in when your hair's wet. No. You apply it to wet or dry scalp and you massage it in and then you shampoo your hair. I've tried it once so far. I thought it was really good. My, my scalp felt really, really clean after it and my hair ultimately resulted in cleaner from that too. So I think it's a really good product. If you suffer from really oily scalp as well, I think this is a product that you would be really, really good for you and kind of to rebalance it. So this is a new launch and it's got a really strange name that I can't say but I'm gonna go with the purifying scalp cleanser. Last in hair I've been sent a few new things from Lee Stafford. I love Lee Stafford hair range, it's always been one of my favourite ranges and I've always gotten well with it. So this is the Coco Loco, so I love the Coco Loco range and this is a new addition, this is a heat protection mist. I really like this, I've used it already and as always you should always use a heat protection spray but I really, really like it, it smells like coconut, what's not to love about that? Um, this is the lived in spray, which is kind of like a little bit like a, what do you call them? Like a texture spray that you would get normally. It's very similar to that. It's like an effortless disheveled undone texture. So if you've just washed your hair, but you want a little bit more undone look or to style it, then you sort of spray this in it. I've only tried this once. Um, I don't know, I kind of liked it. I think it's good for kind of, if you really want to style your hair, if I was just wearing my hair like this straight, it's not something I would use, but if I wanted a kind of messier look with waves and curls, I think this would be really good. This I haven't tried yet, and this is the Hair Growth Scalp Scrub. It says it exfoliates the scalp, unblocking hair follicles, and increasing root produ productivity to help your hair grow longer. And it also suggests using it with... Uh, the hair growth treatment and I have tried Lee Stafford's hair growth treatment before and it actually really really helped my hair grow like I no joke it did so I'm excited to try this at the moment I don't really have any problem with my hair growing I feel like it's actually growing too fast but if you are um got suffering from your hair not growing then give this a try this is like scalp scrub and try it with his other treatment because I really really recommend his hair growth treatment because I've tried it before and my hair really really did grow so give this one a little go. On to makeup and these are from Lancome. These are their new matte shaker matte liquid lipsticks and when I first tried these I didn't shake them enough because I didn't realise. I just shook it a little bit and I put it on and it gave a really nice like tint and I was like oh that's nice and then the other day I actually used it properly. So you have to shake it till you hear that that noise and then you take the top off and it looks like this little thing, so I'll bring that closer. So it's a little like, I don't know, a little sponge I guess. And as you can see the colour is on the end of it and then you just apply it to your lips. It is so so pigmented that like I was applying this totally wrong, I clearly didn't shake it up enough to get the colour. And I was quite happy with the tint colour but when you see this as the proper colour and you shook it enough, oh my goodness, this is such and such a red. So this one is called Ready and Five, this is so vibrant red, it's so beautiful on, it looks amazing, it feels really nice, it's not drying, it's just really like pop, it's so nice. This one is called Yummy Pink and it is bright, bright fuchsia pink. It's maybe a little too fuchsia pink for me, but it's, oh, it pops. It's so nice. They feel so comforting on. I haven't worn them out yet, um, so I don't know how long lasting they really are or like with when you're eating, but colour wise and feel wise on them, I think they're really nice and yeah, I actually would love to try a couple more colours in these because I think they're really great. They're such a little cool little size as well. This is something um, I got sent and I've been wanting to try one of these for ages. This is Brushworks Miracle Silicon Sponge. So I've wanted to try a silicon sponge for so long and I haven't. 
Um, so I'm excited to try this. So I might actually do, I don't know, I might do a separate video reviewing this. If there's something you'd like to see, let me know. I don't know whether there's too many silk and sponge videos already, but this is brand new to me and I've never tried one. So this one is so cute. Look at this. It's got like little glittery bits and it's kind of like a it's an odd shape. This one I think it comes in a longer, more shape like a beauty blender. And then there's also, I think there's another one, but this is an odd shape. I don't even know which side you're supposed to use. This is really interesting. So I'm excited to try it though, because if you don't know about a silicone sponge, it's basically a sponge for applying a foundation and it doesn't soak up anything and it's really easy to clean, apparently. I don't know, I haven't tried it. I'm really excited to try this. Let me know your thoughts on silicone sponges if you've tried them in the comments and let me know also if you would like to see a video on this. A few more things to show you. We are nearly there, guys. So I'm gonna speed through this. So this is new from Erobrian, I think that's how you say it, I don't know. This is their powder compact, which is really dinky and it is kind of like a bronze, it comes with a sponge, it's like a bronze colour, but not too out there, it's more of a powder with a bronze bit. And this has something in it, I read, it has... Oh, here it is, Camellia Oil. And it's got this in it, so it basically is a powder that doesn't dry out your face. So I'm really excited to try that because, as you may know, I have quite dry, dehydrated skin. So I'm very, very excited to give that a try. And also new this month, they have brought out these, which are their touch pens. So there are two colours, Claire and Dora. So Claire is like the light kind of highlighting one, and Dora is your contouring one. So they are a little, like kind of your Touche Eclat type style um, with a little sponge on the end. They basically are kind of to highlight and contour. I haven't tried these yet. I have this bronzing palette which is a 3-in-1 bronzing palette from Saint Tropez and it looks like this. They use them separately or you can use them together. This is a really nice bronzing palette. I love the packaging. Just it's nothing special, but it's just really, really good packaging. It's nice and light. This mirror is amazing. Also new from Saint Tropez are some other bits that they sent me, so I have tried them already. This is their Gradual Tan Plus Sculpt and Glow. So this is basically their Gradual Tan, but it's got sea algae extract and hyaluronic acid in it, so it's very, very moisturizing. This is super lovely. I really like this. It came out such a nice colour and it just looked really, really good. And I feel like gradual tans, with because obviously they're a bit more of a moisturiser, they look more like a natural, realistic tan than fake tan does. But with that said, I am more of a fake tan person just because I feel that the fake tan is always a little bit darker. Um, and with this as well, it doesn't have a colour guide, which is just a big no-no for me because... I can never ever see where it goes. This, funnily enough, did come out really, really lovely. It wasn't streaky um, at all, which was really, really good. But I personally prefer a colour guide, but it was really lovely on the skin and it made my legs look good. I wouldn't say, if you want a tan for going on a night out straight away, I wouldn't say this is the product that's gonna get you that straight away. But if you are happy to build it up throughout the week, and kind of build that up to get the colour that you want. I think I think this is a good like summer product just to make sure you've got a little bit of colour going on. Similarly, they have the Gradual Tan Plus Luminous Veil Illuminating Face Cream. I absolutely love this. I use this a lot now. I think it's really, really nice. Um, again, it doesn't have a colour guide, but that doesn't bother me so much on my face because it's not really that hard to get it in the right place on your face. And it's just, it's really, really lovely. It made my feel face feel really moisturised and the colour that came up was gorgeous. It was so, so lovely. And lastly is this, which is, this I would say is like the star product out of the new products from Saint Tropez. This is the Instant Tan Gloss. It's a finishing gloss and this basically saved me. Like the other week it was so sunny and warm here in London and I was not prepared for that at all. Like my legs have not been out like for the whole winter, spring. They've been in tights and I was just not prepared for this. And I was like, what am I going to do? Because I was like, need to go, but I didn't want to be too hot. So yeah, I used this and it was super good. So it took like my pale, white, zombie-esque leg 
to not, I wouldn't say tanned, but just like looking alive. Like it is, it's not so much a tan, it's a gloss. So just putting it on will give you that kind of alive look. There is a little bit of colour and on like say pale pale legs, you'll get a little bit of colour and a gloss. It just makes your legs look alive and beautiful and gorgeous and model-like. But um, if you put it, I've got tan on the snow, so maybe I can show you, I've got tan on the snow, so if I just put it on top of tan, I think that it would look, um, oh that, so, so like as you can see it comes out brown, which you'd think it'd give quite a bit of colour, I mean it does give a colour, maybe, I don't know if this will work because I don't know if you can see, so as you can see, so this is the arm I had, is it much different? Yes, yeah, so it's a lot shinier and it definitely has actually added a bit of colour but on top of tan it just adds that extra oomph and on paleness, on pale legs it will give you an amazing glow and a little bit of colour on top of tan it's just going to give that extra oomph and make you look amazing so for me I would like put this on top of my tan for like a night out I just think it's gorgeous, it smells nice it is as it's called a finishing gloss, it's going to make you look give you that like look perfect like when you see like models and sub cheese and photos and they've got like nice shiny legs and like they look perfectly flawless it's like it's going to be like that look how shiny this is so dull pale dead arm nice and shiny arm I just really really like it I think it's so nice I think this is definitely their like standout product for the summer I think it's gorgeous and with that gloss you basically it washes off with soap and water so it's really easy to take off thing we finally made it to the end of the video I told you there was lots to see <laughs> this is from Eyelure and this is our enchanted um, false eyelash collection so there's four in the collection so we have Jasmine which is so I will show you these up close so this is Jasmine I can see myself wearing them and you have these which are kind of like a half lash and you have Lily which is kind of like more of an everyday Kind of add fullness lash. Looking forward to trying these. That's a lot, guys. Sorry, I'm just being like distracted by this really now one glossy arm. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. As always, remember all the details for every single product that I have mentioned. Don't need to rewind. It's in the description box and also links to where you can buy it as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and make sure you are subscribed as well. And I will see you next week, guys. Bye.